Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and what I want to do now is show you how to take an assembly and a presentation and produce a uh, drawing that shows the assembly and the exploded view along with the parts list. So we're going to start by choosing our PLTW drawing template. Put in your class period. Remember, every as much any text that you type in for uh, Inventor needs to be in uppercase. So we're going to start by placing this assembly in there. So I'm going to choose base and I need to make sure that I have the jack plate assembly and that looks correct. So if I go and open this, actually that's the exploded view. So I'm going to go choose the assembly. So, oh, that's fine. All right. So I'm using view one of the assembly. That's what we need. So I click on, here's my view of the assembled part. And then that's really not how I want it to look. So I double click on the edge. I adjust to get the home view, the isometric view. And I also need to make that smaller. So I'm choosing a one quarter inch or one to four scale and make sure it's shaded. And that looks pretty nice. I'm moving the words off of the part. Let's put it on the left side. Now what we want to do is put in this exploded view along with the assembly. So I go back to the drawing and I am going to choose the base and I'm going to go find the exploded view. This is why naming them clearly is really important. So right now I'm on the exploded view. That's the one I want. Click on open. And notice it is, it looks exactly like the assembly. Some things we need to change right here. You have the different views. So we're going to choose exploded and then I'm going to hit. Okay. Notice this little thing show trails. This is important. It has these little lines in it. Oh, the scale is wrong too. So let's make the scale just like the assembly one fourth and then it still shows these little lines here showing how they go together. Normally we don't include those in a drawing. So double click and deselect show trails. Click OK and you're good to go. Now we're going to add a parts list by going to annotate and parts list and select the view you want to use. Let's use the assembly to get the parts list. Click OK. And it's going to ask if you want to make a bill of materials. Go ahead and click OK. And click right here. You can kind of position it. We're going to move it around a little bit. Moving these things is a little strange. It's like table design back 10 or 15 years ago so if you grab the outer edge you can if you grab the lines you can move the lines so you can see here if I grab the left side of a cell it can expand and shrink that cell and if I click on the yeah so you can see you can make the see how it changes the cell shape if I click on the words or numbers I can move the whole box around so if you want to change the shape of the box, you choose the lines. If you want to move the box, you choose the words. I double click on the words and it opens up this uh, little box here. This is to see the components. And I'm going to choose the far button on the left called column chooser. And this gives you a list of everything we can show related to the parts. So I might want to add things like author, I might want to take out things that don't mean anything to me, like part number and description. I may want to add in things like engineer, file name. I added design state, but I wanted to do dates, not states. So you basically select stuff on the left and right and choose add or remove based on where you want it to go. And then over here you can move 
things up and down until you get them in the order that you like. So it's really, once you get in there, it's pretty intuitive. And really what I want to see is creation date. That's the one I want to see. So we're going to wrap that one. So put them in order that you want. So in this case, I have the item, the quantity, the file name, the author, the creation date, and the engineer. The stock parts will have an engineer and a, oh, I'm throwing in material too, just for fun. If you select material and it's lowercase, don't worry about it. I'm only worried about the stuff that you type in being in uppercase. All right, so you apply that and you look at our really nasty table at the bottom. So get it off of the um, bottom edge. And what we're gonna do is just work our way across from the right to the left, adjusting these sizes. So I want creation date to be on one row, not two. I want these names to be on one row, not two. And I want the file name to be on one row, not two. We can kind of squeeze the quantity and we can also squeeze the item. So you just kind of play around with this until it's visually appealing. And for these drawings, let's um, put them in the bottom left corner. If you put them on the left corner or the right corner, just see it kind of locks to the borders as you adjust it. You can see, you can kind of feel when you're dragging it, it will stick to the edges. When you're done, save your drawing as a with a reasonable name. <clears throat> okay, when this window pops up, just click yes to all and click OK. And it's asking if you want to update things. So that is a completed assembly, exploded view, parts list. Uh, be real careful on the instructions to understand what you're supposed to include in the parts list. I will have very specific things. Now we're going to identify the parts by part number. Choose balloons and annotate. Click the edge where you want the arrow to connect. Then drag away from the part, left click one time, and then right click one time. And then do that for every part. Left click, left click again, and then right click to continue. You can make the uh, arrow lines kind of zigzaggy if you have to work an arrow between other things, but most of the time you can just do a single line. Left click, left click again, and right click to continue. So now we have the balloons identifying each part in the parts list. So that looks like a pretty good drawing. View one is not very descriptive, so let's open this up. So double click on assembly that or that view. And instead of view one right there, let's change it to jack plate. Uh, let's spell it correctly. Change it to jack plate. And then click OK. So when you're done and you have your drawing all lined up showing you the assembly, the exploded view, the balloons, a complete part list, you've made sure that everything you've typed is in uppercase. You're going to export this as a PDF. Remember when you're exporting multiple page PDFs to always make sure it says all sheets. This one right now is a single one and I would also suggest changing it to a name you recognize like turn this one in or something like that. And here's your final drawing in Acrobat Reader. And that's how you make a drawing.